All right, guys, this is the Nerf Fortnite Insightful Blaster. Now, I don't know how insightful it really is, but hey, that's what they call it. There's also a Nerf Fortnite Blue Shock Blaster, but that one is... You know what? Let me go grab that one for you right now. I'll be right back. Move it, dork. Sorry. You better be, you dork. Hey, wait a minute. What? what? Aren't you that little mother brother that pistol whipped me? No, I would never do that. It was you. No. You you pistol whipped me with the X shot long shot. Review coming soon. And then you tied me to a chair and made me do a face reveal. Oh! What? what? I would never. Are you sure? Totally, yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Hey, wait a minute. Oh! I knew it was you. Why, my wa, mo shin de you. Nani? No builds, tadpole. No! And you see? That right there? That's why I'm more of a Call of Duty player. Now don't get me wrong, I do like Fortnite. That's why whenever one of these Fortnite blasters come out, it always piques my interest. And this one? It's no different. Based off of the classic AR from Fortnite, this is basically a Nerf M4A1 carbine. Now we have the M4 in Call of Duty too. But be real, Nerf is never gonna do a COD collab. So this is as good as it's gonna get. And boy, that good better get getting because, sheesh. Starting at the front of the blaster, there is no in-strike barrel lug, but there is a grossly exaggerated M4 style barrel, complete with a triangle forward sight post without the cutout for an actual iron sight, of course. See, these Nerf Fortnite AR blasters have no actual ABS sights at all. The front sight is just a triangle, and the carry handle is supposed to have grooves and an actual sight, but it's smoother than a baby's bottom. <laughs> Moving back from the front sight, we find ourselves at the M4 style handguard, except it's super flat. Like your girlfriend. It looks like it was run over by a road roller. <laughs> now the magwell here is standard, nothing fancy. It's keeping with the M4, M16 aesthetic. There's a little jam door at the top, just under the carry handle. It's cute and auto closes when you insert a magazine, which is neat, but I don't know how effective it will be at letting you actually clear jams. I don't know how many fingers you could fit in there. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> anyway, the Nerf Fortnite AR comes with a standard 10 round banana style magazine. The magazine will be white no matter which color blaster you pick. 
There's a paddle style magazine release right behind where you put the mag in. It's comfortable and textured to add some grip to it in case you have sweaty hands. The grip here is actually very comfortable and has a size that will accommodate nerfers of all ages, which is great. It also has a textured panel that feels nice and adds some more grip to the uh, grip. The rev trigger is oversized as well and I have no complaints there. The actual firing trigger is basic as f and the trigger pull doesn't feel too smooth or too clunky, it's just somewhere in the middle. Everything here was going pretty good. The trigger assembly is all good. The trigger guard is nice and roomy. Rev trigger is large. Pistol grip is big and comfy. And then we have the shoulder stock. The Nerf Fortnite AR suffers from BSSS, baby shoulder stock syndrome. It's quite ridiculous, really. But uh, Nerf will never change this. It would be so easy to just throw a Raider stock on everything or just throw a stock attachment point on at least. Bleed. But no, Chill. they force these little baby stocks upon bleed. us every chance they get. Bleed. And they won't stop. Not that serious. And I've had enough. Bleed. All right, so I'm back and I've calmed down a little bit. So, uh, so the stock is actually where you load the batteries. The Nerf Fortnite AR blasters are at their core, just some more Strife reshells. So like the Strife, they take four AA sized batteries. Load them in just like this. Next, load up the magazine with the included darts, which I've apparently lost by now. So any standard elite size darts will work. Load the magazine with 10 darts and then slam her home. To fire the Nerf Fortnite AR blaster, hold the rev trigger and let it purr for a second or two. Then pull the trigger. Yep, it's that easy. Every trigger pull will fire another dart. Semi-auto. Let's shoot this thing. Nope. All right, so no jams or malfunctions. It's a strife, so I wouldn't really expect too many problems there. I ran it across my ballistic chronograph to compare it to other blasters, and using the included darts, I got an average velocity of 69 Giggity. feet per second, which is just in line with other uh, stock Nerf flywheel blasters, like the original strife. As far as my opinion on this blaster, me personally, I don't particularly love these blasters. Let's just say I had more fun shooting that silly skit in the intro than I do shooting these blasters. Sure, it has the general outline of an M4 or AR-15, but some of the proportions are way off, and this leaves the blaster looking more than a little wonky. Aesthetically, my main three gripes are, in order, one, the baby stock. This thing is tiny and ridiculous and actually borderline offensive. What is this, a stock for ants? Two, the carry handle. It should have had a tactical rail on it and an actual cutout for a functional ABS sight. This blaster really has no sights at all and it's weird. Three, the handguard. The barrel shroud here is flat as hell and looks like a fat guy sat on it. Also, the fact that the mag release is just low enough to prevent me from hitting it with my firing hand is actually annoying. Functionally, there's not too much to dislike. Like I've said before, it's a basic semi-auto flywheeler, very similar to the Nerf Strife. It shoots at a velocity similar to other stock flywheel Nerf blasters, and uh, depending on how or where you're gonna use this blaster, that could work for you very well. If you're planning on modding and like the shell, this could be a very good choice. If you're not planning on modding the blaster and you wanna take it to a Nerf war, you'll more than likely be outclassed. People there will probably be running blasters that are way more powerful. Other than that, it's got a comfortable grip and a kind of cool, if not wonky, silhouette. And if you're a modder, like I am, then you know you can tune the performance to whatever you want it to be. So tell me, should I mod this blaster? And if so, which one should I mod? I know I'm team red, but I'm leaning towards the insightful blaster here. The blue shock just looks better in my opinion, so I really don't want to chop it up and paint it. 
But let me know what you think I should do down in the comments section below. If this video gets over 100 likes, I'll definitely be back with a full mod guide for this blaster. And that is where the video ends. If you made it to this point, let me know your thoughts on the Nerf Fortnite Insightful and Blue Shock blasters. Do you like them? Or should these blasters be vaulted forever like the actual Nerf Fortnite AR? I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like. It really helps. And also make sure to subscribe and ring that bell. All that good stuff. If you didn't like the video, hit F5 on your keyboard and watch it again. Maybe you'll like it better the second time around. If you don't like these Fortnite blasters, but you're still looking for a semi-auto flywheel Nerf blaster, check out my review of the Nerf Elite Storm Charge here. It's a lot more compact and much more tactical than these blasters. With that said, my name's Blee. You've just been tagged out. I love your foam heads, and I'll see you in the next one.